Frederick Charles Gordon Lennox was born in 1904, third son of the 8th Duke of Richmond. He showed a keen interest in motor cars and flying machines from an early age, and after education at Eton and Christ Church College, Oxford, he became an apprentice at Bentley Motors. Of course, as the third son of a nobleman, there was little chance of Freddie, as he was popularly known, inheriting his father's title. However, the first son had died in infancy, and the second son, Charles Henry, was killed fighting the Bolsheviks in Russia in August 1919. Thus, Freddie became heir apparent. By the late 1920s, Freddie, under the nom de plume Freddie March, was a successful racing driver, scoring victories for Austin and MG, notably winning the Brooklands 500 for Austin in 1930. Freddie's father, the 8th Duke of Richmond, did not approve of his son's motor racing activities and withdrew his allowance for a while. This caused a rift, although by the early 1930s they had reconciled. In 1935, the 8th Duke died, leaving Freddie to become the 9th Duke of Richmond, along with a host of other titles, and inheriting the estate. Gordon Castle and the Scottish estate were quickly sold to pay death duties. The 9th Duke settled on the Goodwood estate, a few miles northeast of Chichester in West Sussex. In the following year, 1936, his grace learnt to fly at the Apton Aero Club, at nearby Ford Aerodrome, shortly thereafter buying a 75 horsepower Samson engine Swallow. A lifelong friend of the Duke's was Edmund Horden. Horden had also been born in 1904 at West Hampnett, a small village adjoining the Goodwood Estate where his father was vicar. Horden was an RAF officer and by the early 1930s, chief test pilot of the British Clem Company at Hanworth. With Horden's advice, the Duke set up his own airstrip at Goodwood on land just to the north of the present aerodrome site. Delightfully rural, there was even a thatched roof hangar for the Swallow. By 1936, Horden was chief test pilot of the Heston Aircraft Company. The Duke and Horden both admired the simple handling qualities of the BA Swallow and the British Clem, and designed a light twin-engined aircraft along similar lines. Seating was side by side, with room for a third person behind, the wings folded outboard of the engine nacelles. The original plan was to fit the aircraft with a pair of aerial square four motorcycle engines with reduction gearing to a propeller shaft. The airframe was almost complete when Aerial withdrew their support for the project, engine designer Edward Turner citing torsional vibration issues as a reason not to proceed. The Duke wrote to Continental Motors. On receiving his letter, the company wired straight back Within hours, a representative had appeared in person. They very quickly provided two engines, complete with enough spares almost to make a third. Whilst the autoplane, as the aircraft became to be known, looks very conventional, it had one rather unusual feature. There were no rudder pedals. The elevator control worked fore and aft as normal, and the control column moved side to side worked the ailerons. The control wheel, on top of the control column, was moved left to right to work the rudder. The aircraft first flew in October 1936, and whilst the controls were unconventional, test pilot Horden and then the Duke both reported that it was very easy to fly. The only modification deemed necessary after test flying was to fit a slightly larger fin and rudder, after which the aircraft was issued with a permit to fly by the Air Ministry. The aircraft proved to be as simple to operate as the Duke and Horden had hoped, and in the next three years it flew nearly 300 hours until the outbreak of the Second World War. In 1937, the Horden Richmond Company was formed with the intention of putting the aircraft into production. However, events took a different turn. The Aeronautical Corporation of Great Britain, formed in the spring of 1936, had been declared bankrupt by the autumn of 1937. Part of that business empire was Lang Propellers, which itself was profitable and had many orders. Arthur Lang suggested that Horde and Richmond go into the propeller making business, which is indeed what happened with a new factory being built on Haddenham Airfield in Buckinghamshire in 1939. His Grace the Duke was works manager and he used his tipsy trainer, painted in RAF markings, to test the effectiveness of propeller coatings until November 1941. As is well known, an aerodrome opened on the Goodwood Estate during the Second World War. Initially RAF West Hampnett, it was developed post-war by the Duke into the aerodrome and motor racing circuit we know today.
In a letter written to John Sprawl in 1986, the Duke pondered the eventual fate of the autoplane, last seen strung up in the rafters of the propeller factory at Haddenham in 1941. It never resurfaced after the war. Thank you for watching.